All right, in this video, let's build the UI for the registration component. Again, this is pretty much going to be bootstrap. So I'm not going to explain what each class I apply does, but just mention the elements that make up the registration component. So in the register folder, open register.component.html. Now we start off with a div tag with class row. And within the row, a div tag that spans six columns. So div call md6. And we use mx hyphen auto class to center the div tag horizontally. So margin on the x axis set to auto. Then for the form, we are going to use cards. So a div tag with a class card and rounded zero. This card is going to have a header and a body. So create a div tag with a class card header. And this contains an h3 tag with margin bottom set to zero that says register. The card also has a body. So div with a card body class. Within the body, we have the actual form tag. Now the form tag has a class form. We don't really need the action attribute, so I'm gonna remove this. And within the form tag, we are going to have two form groups. So div tag with form group. The first form group is for the email address. So add a label, email, and an input tag with class form control and rounded zero. Let's also make this a required field. Similarly, add the second form group, so div form group, and this is for the password. Add a label that says password and an input element that is required as well. So input type is equal to text, the same class and it is also a required field. And before closing the form tag, let's also add the button to register the user. So a button tag with a class button, button primary, and let's also float this to the right. So float right, and then the text is going to be register. Let's also add type is equal to button. Now let's save this and take a look at the browser. So go back to Chrome and there you go. Looks pretty good to me except for the spacing at the top. So I'm gonna add some padding to the top of the div tag. So row and then padding top five. So let's save this, go back to the browser and you can see that it's much better. All right, finally, let's add a click handler that calls an event register user when this register button is clicked. So we need to retrieve the value from the input fields, email and password, and send it to the backend. But for now, let's simply try to log these values to the console. So we are going to have to use two-way data binding with the ng model directive. And for two-way binding, we need the forms module. So go to app module and import the forms module. So right over here, I'm gonna paste the import statement and then add it to the imports array. So after browser module, we're also going to have the forms module. Next, in the register component TypeScript file, we're going to add a new property. This is going to be register user data and let's set it to an empty object. Now, we bind the inputs to this register user data property. So in the HTML file, we are going to add the ng model directive. So for each input tag, I'm going to add the banana in a box model. So square brackets and then parentheses and then ng model. This is going to be equal to register user data dot email and then we of course have to set the name attribute. This is going to be email. 
Similarly, for the second input tag, we also need to have an ng model directive. So I'm going to copy this, paste it, and change email to password, and then the name to password. So register user data is the object that contains the email and password values of the user about to be registered. Let's log to the console on the click of register button. Let's add a click handler. So within parentheses, click that calls an event register user when the user clicks on the register button. Let's go back to the TypeScript file and define this register user method. Register user. And this is just going to log to the console this dot register user data. All right, now if I go back to the browser, navigate to the register component, open the console, fill in the details, email is going to be a at a.com with the password a, and I click on register, you can see the object log in the console. Register user data is an object that has an email and a password. So we are able to retrieve the user object which has to be submitted to the backend. Now, before we wind up, I notice a mistake. This is a password field. So let's change input type is equal to text to input type is equal to password. Save this, go back to the browser, let it refresh. ASD, password is ASD, much better. So if I click on register, we should have the register user data object logged in the console. All right, now that we have the UI, next let us create the registration service that calls the backend registration API.